I'd like to tell you about what I call the bird of prey uh, canoe stabilizers. I call them the bird of prey because they kind of this way have an appearance of the Klingon bird of prey um, uh, starships that they have and for you uh, Star Trek fans you know all about that. But they, they have this unique look because of the struts that I have here. But I'd like to tell you how I made this for probably less than eighty dollars to stabilize my canoe. The first thing I did, and a lot of these ideas I did get from the internet already, and one of them was a very good uh, recommendation on these crab pot floats from Seattle Marine. And they're uh, about 14 inches long and 6 inches in diameter, and a 3 quarter inch piece of, uh, of uh, PVC will fit exactly in there and can be further put together with more PVC to make a, uh, to use a T here and to make the uh, attachments to it. Those are about uh, $10 a piece, so for the boat it's around $40 to get those. Another thing I found on the internet were these flagpole holders, adjustable, and they let the uh, struts go up and down. They're made out of metal and they have very good strong teeth in there so they're not going to slip much and it's pretty easy just to open them up and to spin your, your strut up or down depending upon how much you want in the water. In order to mount this system, I went to the uh, your local scrap yard and found a piece of uh, aluminum uh, angle that was about uh, four inches by two inches by cutting two pieces off and then a couple of small uh, uh, ones to put into the hull and using sheet metal screws uh, I could attach the uh, flagpole holders to it and by bolting this through the hull here to the other side I can make a very firm uh, stabilized platform for the apparatus. It's also nice for the person who sits in this seat because there's added back support from using that. The unique thing that I'd like to bring to your attention concerns this strut that I use and the unique shape of it where it's offset so it kind of bends down into the water and this is simply from an old uh, crutch. I got a pair of crutches and I think you could see here how those crutches might have worked. They had a little arm brace here but the unique thing is the adjustments that you could get and the variation in it. By pressing these buttons you can move the strut way out or you can move it in just a little bit or however you want to depending upon how far out you want the strut to be in the water. Now that as we know is dependent upon how much weight is in the boat. If the water line, if there's not very much weight in the boat and the boat sets high we need more distance going down so you might put it in the water about like this. But then as you put more weight in you need to bring that up you can take your flagpole adjustment here and spin it up and retighten that so that you have elevated this. Between the flagpole adjustment plus this being able to run this in and out, uh, you have the ability to adjust this in an infinite amount so that it rides in the water just perfectly for what you want to do. I think these flagpole uh, Holders are about $13 each. Uh, these were $10 each, four of those. This piece of scrap was $8. And the crutches I, I got free. I think you could probably find those around or, uh, or scrap somewhere, but it ended up making the whole thing for uh, about less than $80, which uh, I think was very good value. So uh, there you have it, the uh, Bird of Prey uh, Canoe Stabilizing System. Have a good day.